Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, we are going to learn one of the techniques that allows us to make straps you can use with clothes, suspenders, belts, and other cloth simulations. In this simplified project, I have this very, very simple simulation. I have a plane which I'm using a spline wrap to wrap it around this spline over here. Let me turn everything on so you can see it. That is a spline. And I'm creating this uh, little hoop over here. If I go here, you will see that I have this little loop, whatever this is called. Now, the buckle itself over here is a rigid body with a triangle mesh collision shape so that uh, the hole is calculated. And you will see that when I press play and uh, let it roll for a second, that the buckle is going to fall because uh, there is nothing holding this uh, loop in place. Also, I have attached my uh, belt to this uh, moving cube uh, using a connector tag. Now, let me show you how we're going to stitch up this uh, loop over here. We are going to do it using a connector tag on the belt. So let's go to the belt, right click and go down to the simulation tags and uh, bring up a connector tag. Now I can always go here and just uh, set it to uh, update live and increase this and you will see that it's picking on every object. I don't want to connect it to other objects. I only want the same object. I want to create these uh, as if they are stitches and I do not want other objects. Fantastic. But now we get connections from uh, point to point as well. So I want to confine it over here. I'm going to use this point restriction and in order to do that I'm going to right click here go to the other tags create a point selection and in the fields create a box field and I'm going to select this box field go to the remapping and make sure the inner offset is 100% because I just want to use it to let's say define any points within this box to be my selection so I'm going to do this and I'm going to move it up slightly. There you go. I think this is good enough. So any points that belong to the belt object, I can move this out of here. It doesn't need to be a child. Any points that happen to be within this uh, cubic field will become part of this selection. So let's go to the connector. Let's drag this selection in here and uh, let's uh, create them and update live and move this up. And you will see that nothing is generated. And the reason is, that I'm using a spline wrap to deform my belt. And uh, when you're using uh, fields with anything, with selections and uh, with your polygon models, make sure that if the object is deformed, to use use deform points. Because otherwise, this is not in its deformed state. This is the undeformed state. So these are different points. So make sure that you have use deformed points. Let's go back over here and let's uh, move this. You can see the moment it updates, we get only the points that are connected over there. And uh, that's all you need to do to get this little loop to work. Let's press play and you'll see that the buckle is going to be held in there regardless of the simulation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.